we want to evaluate the surface integral, which is a double integral over the surface S of x squared z, integrated with respect to S, where S is the part of the plane z equals four plus x plus three y above the rectangular region, where x is on the closed interval from zero to two, and y is on the closed interval from zero to three. For a surface S given by z equals g of x comma y, that is continuous and differentiable over a region R on the xy plane, which means the region R is the projection of z equals g of x comma y onto the xy plane, and g of x comma y and its partial derivatives are continuous over the region R, and f of x comma y comma z is continuous over the surface S, then the surface integral is equal to the double integral over the region R of f of x comma y comma g of x comma y times the square root of the quantity one plus the partial derivative of g with respect to x squared plus the partial derivative of g with respect to y squared differential a. So notice how we need to write the integrand function f of x comma y comma z as a function of x and y by replacing z with g of x comma y and then differential s is equal to the square root of one plus the sum of the squares of these partial derivatives differential a. So going back to our example, let's first look at the plane over this rectangular region here. So for the surface integral, we're integrating over the surface of the plane that's inside this rectangular region here. If we look down on the xy plane, we can see the region R, which is the projection of S onto the xy plane, is this rectangular region here. So going back to our work, notice how the region R in the xy plane is this rectangle. Next, because the surface is the plane inside this rectangular region, z, which equals g of x comma y, is equal to four plus x plus three y. Now for the next step, let's find the partial derivatives of g with respect to x and with respect to y. So the partial derivative of g with respect to x is equal to the derivative of four plus x plus three y with respect to x, which would just be one and the partial derivative of g with respect to y would be the derivative of four plus x plus three with respect to y, which would be three. Which means the given surface integral is equal to the double integral over the region R of f of x comma y comma g of x comma y would be x squared and then we substitute g of x comma y for z, so we'd have x squared times the quantity four plus x plus three y, and then we have times the square root of the quantity one plus the partial of g with respect to x squared, which would be one squared, plus the partial root of g with respect to y squared, which would be three squared, and then for differential a, let's use dx dy. And now we'll use the region R, or these intervals here, to determine the limits of integration. The limits of integration with respect to x are from zero to two, also given here. The limits of integration for y are from zero to three, also given here. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next slide. Notice how here we just have a constant. This would be the square root of 11. Let's go ahead and factor out the square root of 11. Let's also distribute the x squared here. So the integrand function would be four x squared plus x cubed plus three x squared y. And now we integrate with respect to x. So we'll have four times x to the third divided by three or four thirds x cubed plus x to the fourth divided by four or one fourth x to the fourth plus three y times x cubed divided by three, which would just be x cubed y. And now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A. So when x is two, we'll have four thirds times two to the third plus one fourth times two to the fourth plus two to the third times y. And then when x is zero, all the terms contain a factor of zero, so we just have minus zero. So simplifying, 
Here we'll have 4 thirds times 8, that's 32 thirds, plus 1 fourth times 16, which equals 4, and this would be plus 8y. 32 thirds plus 4 is equal to 44 thirds, so we'd have 44 thirds plus 8y. And now we integrate with respect to y, so we have 44 thirds y plus 8 times y squared divided by 2, that's plus 4y squared. So when y equals 3, we have 44 thirds times 3 plus 4 times 3 squared. And when y is 0, both terms contain at least one factor of y, so we just have minus 0. So we have square root of 11 times the quantity, this would be 44 plus 4 times 9 is 36. The sum is 80, so the exact value is 80 square root of 11, which is a decimal, is approximately 265.3300. I hope you found this helpful.